Hey guitar fanatics, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Chris Stapleton's great version of the song Tennessee Whiskey and we're going to learn everything from the acoustic guitar part right up through the guitar solo on the record. This is a great song to know if you're sitting around a campfire with an acoustic but I've also played it at blues jam sessions. We'll learn the basic acoustic strumming pattern, we're going to look at the electric melodies that are in the song and we're going to learn the guitar solo. My name is Charlie Long, welcome to the channel, let's play some guitar. So level one, we're going to learn the acoustic strumming pattern that underlies the entire song. We're going to be playing in the key of A, and this song really has only two chords, A major and B minor, and there's a couple little variations in there. It's also important to note that this song is in 12-8 time. That means there's 12 beats to a measure, and an eighth note gets one beat. This is a variation on waltz time, and it's pretty common in bluesy, gospel-influenced music. You're going to feel that there's a flow to this, and you're really going to want to feel the beats on beat 1, 4, 7, and 10 of the measure. And we'll get into that and how to count it. So we're going to start off with the intro, and once you learn this strumming pattern, you pretty much got the acoustic strumming pattern for the whole song down. Probably the easiest way to think of the structure of this song is to think of it in four measure blocks, with an A chord in the first measure, the B minor chord in the second measure, in the third measure, then back to an A chord in the fourth measure. And that just kind of repeats throughout the entire song. So remember how I just mentioned that we really want to feel the beat on the one, the four, the seven, and the ten, basically every three beats. We're going to get used to the changes of this song and the feel of the rhythm by playing on every third beat. So basically the one, the four, the seven, and the ten, and we're just going to strum and let it ring until we get to that next point. So check this out. Starting in the first measure, we've got an A chord, and we're going to play on beats one, four, seven, and ten. Remember, there are 12 beats a measure, so we're going to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's sort of the basic pulse of the rhythm part. Now, we're going to add the additional strums later, the little fills, but we just want to get that down first. So let's go through that again. We're going to start with an A, and then we've got two measures of B minor, and then back to A. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now that we're getting comfortable with the feel and counting, here's the additional strumming pattern that really fills out the acoustic rhythm. So we're going to play on the one and count two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. But on the and of two, the third beat and the and of three, we're also going to strum. So it's one, two, and three, and three. And so that brings us to four, which is another main beat. And we're going to strum on the four also. And the pattern that we just played starts over. So let's hear that again. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. So we play that pattern down, up, down, up, down down, up, down, up, down. And you can just keep that going for about the entire four minutes and 53 seconds of that song. So again, here's all 12 beats of the first measure and how we're gonna count it. So it would be one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, 11, and 12, and, and then we're to the one of the next measure, which is the B minor chord. So I'm going to play through that just quickly, the first two measures. So 
basically that's a strumming pattern for the entirety of the song and as I mentioned it's great to think of this song in four measure blocks with an A in the first measure, B minor in the second and third measures, A in the fourth measure. Now there is one small wrinkle in the fourth measure of the intro and it also happens throughout the rest of the song. What we're going to do is we're going to hammer on to the fourth fret of the D string and the third fret of the B string and basically we're going to turn our A chord into a D chord. Now when I go to play that I'm actually fretting that A chord I'm barring the second fret of the D string, the G string, and B string with my first finger. And again, like I said, we're going to hammer on with our third finger and our middle finger. And we turn that A chord into a D chord with an A in the bass. Now this happens on the fourth beat and the and of fourth. It sounds like this. One, two, and three. Hold that D chord, which happens on the and of four, until we strum it again on a six and the and of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and. And when we get to that seventh beat, we go back to the A chord and we resume our original strummer pattern. So let's run through that whole thing. we're going to play eight bars instead of four like in the intro but think of it again as two four measured blocks now there's one small thing we've got to learn in the verse in bar four we make that same move on the fourth beat where we hammer on to the d chord go back to the a chord on the seventh beat strum on the and of eight nine and the and of nine just like we have been doing previously but on beats 10 11 and 12 we're going to play a little descending passage where we're fretting notes on the g and b string and we're letting the open e ring out so what we're going to play first is the sixth and fifth frets of the g and b string let that E string ring out. Then we play the fourth and third frets of G and B with the E string ringing out. And then lastly, we're going to play the second fret on both the G and B string. So we're going to play each one of these twice. And we're back to our A chord to start the next measure. So let's try that a couple times. I'm going to play it slowly. Okay, so that's the strumming pattern for the intro, the verses, and the choruses. Let's move on to level two and learn the intro melody guitar line. So this is a nice easy melodic passage that kind of starts out the song and gets everything going. If you're just starting out trying to play some single note guitar, this is a great passage to learn. It's played entirely on the low E and A strings, and there's only five different notes. As a matter of fact, I can play the whole thing basically with my second finger and my fretting hand. So we start off as a pickup into bar one of the intro, and it's really would be um, on the 10th, 11th, and 12th beats of the previous measure, but it's basically we can think one, two, three. So we're gonna play open E, the second fret of the low E string, and then open A. And it sounds like this. Then we're going to slide from the second fret of the A string to the fourth fret. So basically we've got the notes E, F sharp, A, that's our pickup. Then on the first beat of the first measure of the song, we slide that second fret that's a B note to the fourth fret. So that's a C sharp. Now, we're going to hold that note for nine beats, and then on beats 10, 11, and 12 of that first measure, we're going to descend the frets four, two, and zero. So we play C sharp, 
B and A. Then on beats one and two of the next measure, we're going to play the frets four, and we're going to slide into that note and then fret two, which we're gonna slide from the fourth fret down into. So we're gonna hold that note out until beat 11. And on beats 11 and 12, we're gonna play the fourth fret twice and we slide into it both times. And then on beats one and two of the next measure, we're gonna play that fourth fret again and then slide down to fret two. We're gonna hold that note all the way out until beat 10, and then we're gonna play the fourth fret, the second fret, and then the open A. And we're gonna end by playing the open A string on the first beat of the fourth measure, and we're gonna hold that note for all 12 beats. So here's the whole thing, and I'll count it as I play it. 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's important to know here that the slides, it's a super simple passage, but the slides give it life and it really spices up the sound. So make sure you're giving that a try. Now, let's level up again and let's learn the guitar solo that's on the record. So here we are, it's the third level of our Tennessee Whiskey Exploration and it's the recorded guitar solo on the record. And it's really almost like two guitar solos in one. The first half is all about sixth intervals. And then the second part, it's got some really nice bluesy playing and a great example of how to get up the fretboard using a diagonal pentatonic pattern. So the first four bars starts off with a phrase around the A major triad up at the ninth fret starts out on an E note at the ninth fret of the G string, then F sharp at the 11th fret, and then A. So it's really a pickup going into the next measure. And then we're gonna bend the B note at the 12th fret of the B string up to C sharp. And that's on the one of the next measure. And that note isn't really sustained very long. It lasts only three beats and that's gonna leave a lot of space open for almost the entire rest of the measure. Sounds like this. So if I count it out, it'd be 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go all the way to beat 10, and then we're gonna play what is sort of a country cliche, which is a sixth interval. We're gonna play the 12th fret of the D string. That's a D note. We're gonna slide up to the 14th fret. We're gonna let that note keep ringing and then the 14th fret we play of the B string. So that's our sixth interval. And then we're gonna slide that baby down to the 12th fret, both notes. Now, we let that ring all the way out until the 10th beat of that next measure, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing, the same lick. Then we're gonna wait until the 11th beat of that measure, and then we're gonna play our sixth interval double stops at the 12th fret twice, and then we end up on beat one of the next measure playing another double stop, and I'm at the 11th fret of the D string and the 10th fret of the B string. And those four measures over backing track sound like this.
So now we're into the second half of the solo. And remember I mentioned it's completely different than the first half. We're gonna pick things up a bit by playing some 16th notes. So we held that last figure out until the 10th beat of that that measure and on the 10th beat we're going to play some 16th notes we're going to play the 7th and 9th frets on the a string followed by the 7th frets on the d string back to the 9th fret on the a and then the 7th fret again on the d so one two three four five six seven eight nine then the next measure starts and we're going to slide into the 11th fret of the D string from the 9th fret. We play the 9th fret of the G string and then the 11th fret twice. So that whole lick sounds like. And followed by an A at the 10th fret of the B string. And we hold that for three beats. And that's going to be followed by a whole step bend at the 12th fret, which we immediately release and then play the note at the 12th fret. So those are 16th notes. Now we're back to the A at the 10th fret and we hold that for two beats. This is going to be followed by one of the nicest licks in the solo, which is a very B.B. King-ish lick. We're going to play a whole step bend at the 13th fret, followed by a half step bend at the 13th fret. That's going to be followed by a pair of A notes at the 10th fret. The second of which we're going to hold out for six beats. So that whole phrase. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that whole last phrase, it's very, very B.B. King-ish to me, and it's some really, really nice bluesy playing. Now from there, we're going to play another nice bluesy lick, starting with a double stop at the 9th and 10th frets of the G and B string. And then we're going to immediately hammer onto the 11th fret of the G string. We're going to then hit the 9th fret of the G again, followed by the 11th fret. Then we're gonna make a quick slide from the 11th fret of the D string to the 9th. That's followed by the 7th fret of the D string and the 9th fret of the A string. So here's that little lick. Then we're gonna play fret seven and nine on the A string followed by the 7th fret on the D string. Then we're going to make a little grace note slide into the 10th fret of the D string, followed by the notes at the 9th and 7th fret. So it's a quick slide into that note at the 10th fret of the D string and back to the 9th fret and then to the 7th. Now, the big ending starts to happen with that same lick that started the second half of the solo. We're going to play 7 and 9 on the A string, followed by 7 on the D string, back to 9 on the A, and then 7 on the D. Those are 16th notes again. And then the entire next measure is 8th notes using the A major pentatonic again. We're going to slide into the 9th fret on the A string, go down to the 7th fret, back to the 9th. We do 7, 9, 7 on the D string. We're going to slide into the 11th fret on the D string, then 9, 11 on the G string, 10 on the B string, and then we end up by coming back to the 11th fret of the G string. Let's hear the entire solo over backing track.
that is the bulk of the guitar parts for Chris Stapleton's version of Tennessee Whiskey. It's a great bluesy rendition of a song that was originally recorded by David Allen Cole all the way back in 1981. You know, it's not hard to play, but it's a great example of how space and simplicity and some soul makes for a great listening experience. As always, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you with another lesson next week that'll help you make sense of soloing. Until then, keep practicing and happy guitar playing. Bye.